everybody, and welcome back to Founder Freedom TV with your host, Rachel Wynott. I'm your business and marketing success coach. So today's topic is how to find new customers and increase sales. This is a big one, guys, so stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Okay guys, welcome back. So today's topic, how to find new customers and increase sales. This is a big one because I'm gonna teach you exactly the steps that I do to increase sales and customers, okay? All right, so number one, when you have to think about your customers, um, I want you to think about your target, your target, okay? So number one, before you start reaching out to potential customers and bringing in leads, etc. Um, you really, really have to get really clear on your target audience, okay? We call this a customer avatar, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to literally write down, take out a piece of paper right now, if you can, and write down who is your target audience, okay? So in, I wrote an example, example moms, okay? So if your target is moms, well, I want you to write down exactly what that mom looks like. So is she, what is her age? You know, where does she, where does she hang out, um, both online and offline? Like, I want you to get really deep on your customer avatar and think about who is that person, you know? What does she shop for? What does she do? What does she like doing? You know, activities, is she like yoga? Different things like that. Like, get really, the more clear you are on your customer, the easier it's going to be to attract that customer and increase your sales, okay? Um, so, one example, um, when you are, when you do figure out that customer target, I would highly recommend, this is a big tip, and this is what I did when I first started, and I still do it as well, is go into um, specific niche Facebook groups, okay? So there's lots of Facebook out groups out there. Example, I put example, mom's Facebook groups. Um, there's so many different Facebook groups, and they're really usually targeted quite specifically. So I would do some research, look on different groups on Facebook, um, even groups outside of Facebook online, really, and find those groups because then we want to start being active in those groups so you become that authoritative figure in that group, right? And that's, of course, your target audience, which is really, really key. Okay, guys? Okay, number two, we're going to offer testing. Okay, so. Obviously, you're looking for customers in your target. You probably have some sort of an offer or idea of an offer at least. Um, but if you don't, um, one tip to creating an amazing offer is A, do your, again, do research, your market research, and find your competitors that are basically targeting the same niche and are have a similar offer to you, right? We call this offer hacking, okay? So go out there, find other customers, look at their offers. What are they offering? Are they offering services? Are they offering products? Are they offering um, coaching? What are they offering? And I want you to construct your offer. Um, just write down all of the different you know, offers that people in your competitive space are offering. All right, so offer testing. Now, before we kind of really scale our marketing and scale our lead generation, we wanna make sure our offer is tested and proven, okay? So what I would recommend is reach out to a couple of your target audience, so in these Facebook groups, you can find on, like even on Instagram, so if you're on Instagram, you can search the hashtag um, moms in, you know, certain market or any types of hashtags you can find, you can find people that are in your target. I would reach out to a couple of them, um, practice your offer on them, see how it resonates. Even ask, you know, what do you want? What do you need? Um, how can I help you essentially? Um, and start testing that offer with a couple of people. If you, if you get feedback on people saying, you know what, I don't really need that, or you know what, like this isn't what I'm looking for, then obviously that's not the right offer for them, right? So you have to tweak it. But definitely before we start scaling and really bringing in tons of leads and customers, we wanna make sure we offer test first, okay? So target, offer testing, and then, as part of your offer, this is a big one, this is a huge, big secret, guys, okay? So as part of your offer, you always wanna include some types of bonuses, multiple bonuses, 
um, or incentive, okay? So, you know, as a, like if you're offering a service, let's say you're, you know, looking for couples that are going through some uh, issues and you're a relationship coach maybe, okay, as an example. Um, so what I want you to do is, you know, you have your main offer. Well, like maybe your main offer is, hey, I'm gonna coach you on, you know, every day, once, a, once per week, I'm gonna help you um, and coach you on how to make your relationship better, okay? So that's your main offer. And then you wanna always include bonuses and incentives for them to purchase, okay? So maybe a bonus is like a product or a workbook that they can use to help them um, at, during this process, right? Um, again, look at your competitors out there because I guarantee you they're probably offering some types of bonuses or incentives. So that'll help you get ideas for what you can frame your offer as, right? Um, and that makes up an amazing offer. This is like the secret to coming up with irresistible offers is you have your main offer and then you always have bonuses and incentives. Every offer I create online, whether it's a free offer, whether it's a paid offer, I always include some types of bonus and incentives just to increase the value. Like. If you don't have bonuses and incentives, um, your value is way lower. As soon as you start in including these things, your value increases like crazy. And then it makes people want to obviously, you know, uh, join your community or buy from you, whatever, whether it's a free offer or if it's a paid offer, okay? And again, obviously with the free offers, those are really important too because you wanna build them and bring them into your community and start building that know, like, and trust factor, right? I mean, if it's, if it's a cold audience, like they don't know who you are, um, it's really hard to get them to purchase something without knowing who you are or what you can offer. If you give them something for free and give value, you start building that trust, right? And then it ends up being a paid customer in the end. So that is a huge tip, guys. Bonus, bonus, bonus. I can't stress that enough. Okay, number four. So we have target, we have offer testing, we have bonuses and incentives, and then we have outreach. Okay, so with outreach, guys, so once you have all of this constructed, what I want you to do is, again, when you're looking for your different targets in your Facebook groups or online on Instagram, maybe on LinkedIn, maybe on Facebook groups, these are all tips, right? Um, when you reach out to your audience, um, I want you to reach out. Obviously, you can do manual outreach messages, literally start messaging people directly on these platforms um, to, to start, you know, maybe set up a call with them or maybe give them a freebie or something like that, right? Just to start the conversation. So you can do manual outreach, which is time sensitive. Obviously, it's gonna take your time, right? I do minimum 20 outreach messages a day, as an example. So I would highly recommend, especially if you're just starting out, do your manual outreach and create a habit with it. Like make it a daily occurrence that you do your outreach messages, okay? Again, with something free or maybe a free call or something like that, right? Um, and then we have paid, and this is a little more advanced, of course, but once you get into paid outreach, that's when you use Facebook ads, Instagram ads, different things like that to get in front of your target audience. And I would highly recommend if you're doing paid, start off, especially if it's a cold audience, start off with an awesome freebie. Again, that freebie, guys, like some people think like, oh, the lead magnet or freebie, maybe it's like a free guide or a free workbook, but the more that you can make that freebie more valuable, the more you're gonna build that know, like, and trust. And know, like, and trust is the secret to marketing online everywhere. This is a no like and trust machine that we're building here, okay guys? So try this out, let me know what you think. Leave comments below, I'm, I try to answer them as quickly as possible. You can ask me questions. Um, we are here to help you at Founder Freedom and I'm so excited for you to be on this journey with us guys. So make sure you subscribe right now, don't hesitate. We have new episodes coming out every day. Our goal is that you live and work freely as you build your online business. So see you on the next one, guys.